When the Bible says something once, it serves us well to pay attention. But when it says the same thing two times, we need to understand, embrace, and comprehend it. In both the fourth and the eighth verse of 1 John chapter 4, we read, God is love. What a great thought in truth. The concept of God and love appears over 200 times and over 100 verses in the Bible. I would say that is significant. That said, the love of God is largely misunderstood today because we, as a sinful and selfish creation, have perverted the two concepts of God and love into something that we simply want them to be. Let me explain. The concept of God in America seems to be a cross between a passive, gentle grandfather with a little bit of those two famous holiday characters, Santa Claus and Easter Bunny, mixed in. So, according to this concept, God only gives us what we want because he wants us to be happy, and he knows that to be happy we need things because things will make us happy. This means that, like those two holiday characters, God functions kind of like a divine delivery boy who delivers our every wish because he's a loving God. I need to be candid with you. This caricature of God is not one that fits or accurately describes the God of the Bible nor the love of God. First of all, it is not that God loves us, but rather that God is love. And his character epitomizes this thing we call love. He is the definition of love. He is the source of love. He is the personification of love. And his love reaches to us because of who he is. In fact, we can learn how to love from studying God. For you see, out of his great love, God created humankind to have fellowship with. And when God's crown creation sinned and became separated from him, he didn't just overlook the sin because sin requires payment or restitution. I want you to think about it like this. If God would not have overlooked the sin of the first man and woman whom he created with his own hands, we call them Adam and Eve, then why do we think that God will understand and overlook our sin and disobedience because of his love? Here is the final analysis about our misunderstanding of God's love. He does not, in fact, overlook our disobedience and sin. Rather, he deals with it. And it is his love that causes him to do so. He is too powerful and holy, and he loves us too much to come to us and leave us like we are. Just like a loving parent who disciplines their child that they love. God will discipline us for the purpose of drawing us to himself, that we can be clean and pure and holy. His love is an overt love, John 3.16. It's an overwhelming love, John 3.17. And an overcoming love, John 3.18. His love comes to us to help us come to him. He wants the best for us. His is a love that will not die. Why not receive and respond to his love today? He is offering it to you. Heavenly Father, thank you for this love. Help us to understand how you love us and that we can love you. Today, heal our hearts and heal our land. In Jesus' name, amen.
God bless you. Have a good day.